I'm going to be looking at one of the most unique and rare items we have in the castle, one, certainly when it comes to weapons anyway, definitely one of the coolest weapons. Essentially what I have here is a mortar gun, so these were used in the late 1600s into the early 1700s. What I have is basically a very early form of grenade launcher, so in the end here we'd have had a grenade, not like the kind of grenades where you pull out the pin and you throw it, no, it had been similar to something they used in Tom and Jerry, essentially a black ball with a large fuse in it. So when you look down the barrel of this gun, there is a hole not dissimilar to the size of a 10 pence coin. So when you take your grenade with its fuse, you turn it upside down and that fuse will go down that hole. So when you fire this gun, it ignites the fuse at the same time that it fires the grenade. So essentially doing a siege attack or a naval attack, you're firing this over walls or onto the deck of a ship, you fire the gun, bang, it goes off. So this is a flintlock, so it's using flint to ignite that gunpowder, much like your conventional musket. However, these were very short-lived because it was more often than not you would fire the gun and rather than the grenade coming out the end and going to where it needs to go, it would just explode in the gun, causing you to be blown to smithereens and of course killing anyone else that's standing in close proximity. So these were very short-lived in some respects. They're extremely rare. They were normally scrapped, melted down to make into something else. But here at Warwick Castle we have a beautifully preserved one. Very, very rare indeed and I really wanted to highlight it.